Hello Equestrians and welcome back to my channel. So this is actually a part two. It seems that I've started a series. <laughs> I'm actually doing another try on haul for you guys. I'm really really grateful to you all for your support on my last plus size try on haul video because I was terrified um, to be quite honest with you about putting it out there. I'm not the most confident of people like everyone has their insecurities do you know what I mean and I've had my fair share of backlash from the internet <laughs> about my size and stuff and it was just so so nice to have your support um, especially everyone over at Digital Horse who I really can't thank my Digital Horse family enough anytime someone knocks me down I just go on there and I put a little status up and everyone's like straight away just giving me a big virtual hug to try and make me feel better so I cannot tell you how much I truly appreciate the support and I was actually really really surprised the video has done very well and I guess it just goes to show that there is a need and a want for more inclusive clothing and I guess no one's been brave enough to put themselves out there or I have I certainly haven't seen anybody and it is tough there is days where I think why do I do it to myself but I'm glad I'm doing it because I think I'm starting to hopefully make a change I if you have missed it I would highly recommend you go and watch my video that I did with my lovely friend Bex over at the wide boot company where we discussed all of the issues that are wrong uh, that we feel need improving within the equestrian clothing industry and especially to any brands watching I highly recommend you do check that out just to see like because we spoke to um, our followers so it's not just our opinions it's the opinions of many other people who are finding the same problems so yeah there's definitely a demand for more inclusive clothing I think people are just scared to ask for it so I'm asking hola <laughs> I would like more inclusive clothing for the equestrian community that is my aim and I'm hoping that by doing these plus size try on videos perhaps I can raise awareness to the issues that are present uh, as well as hopefully like the main thing I'm hoping for is to find clothes that do fit me nicely so that I can share them with you and you guys can find things that fit you well as well because at the end of the day we all want to get on our horse and feel good because when we feel good we ride better <laughs> if you get on and you're feeling like you're being sucked into your clothes um, you're not going to ride to the best of your abilities because you're going to be uncomfortable then your horse is going to be uncomfortable and it's just you know it's all pants <laughs> so yes that's my aim uh so today i have some lovely brands to try on for you that i've not tried before and i'm really excited to review them for you all i have paid for all of these with my own money aside from one item that i'm going to share with you and also share a little announcement for that one but yes everything else i have paid for myself so yes i'm really excited to show you so but why are we why are we even talking anymore? Let's just get into it. I'm excited. Come on, let's go. Intro. Okay, so the first item I've got to show you is a base layer. This is from Xena Equestrian. So this is a new brand. Um, I've been following them since they um, sort of got going and stuff. This is actually a men's base layer because their women's ones didn't go up to a size that would fit me unfortunately. But I had a look and I thought that the men's ones didn't look too, too different to be quite honest. So I thought I'd give it a go. Obviously with it being a men's fit I'm not expecting it to fit me very well. But we'll see. I could be surprised. But yes, it is a nice navy... It looks black, but it's not. <laughs> a nice navy uh, base layer. It's got, da, 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 da. it's got the zip that goes all the way up there, and it's actually got a cover for the zip, like just at the top there. So that would just stop your like zip rubbing against your neck, I suppose. And it's also high vis, so the Z and the the zip area here that's high visibility. So so yeah, that's nice if you. You know, if you're just wandering about the yard, it's always helpful in the early mornings for people to help to be able to see you. It feels like kind of spandexy material, you know, like cycling short material. And it's also got thumb holes, but as you can see, that is quite big for my little hands. So, like I say, this is a men's one. I have a feeling that, that those like thumb holes are going to be way too big for me, but it looks very nice. 
nice length. It is tapered as well at the side. I don't think you can really see here, but let's try it on so we can see how it fits. Okay guys, so I've got my Xena Equestrian base layer on, which is obviously a men's one and not for women. So let's judge based on that. So overall, like I love the length. I don't mind the fit at all. I think it's a good length on me. Uh, the only thing is the sleeves, which I kind of half expected. They are way too long. Yeah, the thumb holes are definitely like man size, if you know what I mean. But if I was to just get this taken up a little bit, just roll the sleeves up a bit. I think it would be okay. The sleeves are very loose and baggy on me, but it is so, so comfortable. And I love the material. This would be really nice for winter. Like at the minute, it's a bit too hot. It's been sort of mid 20s, 30s kind of, 30 kind of degrees. But yeah, I do like the length. I don't mind the fit. I think it's fine. Um, it's very comfortable. I will definitely be wearing this, but I think it's more winter wear than summer. Got the Z here. And you're gonna have to ignore my microphone because I, I wanted to try and zip this up. So this is one issue I have with this is I am, oh, I'm really struggling to do that up. This is actually very tight around my neck. And I know like this is designed for men, but keeping that in mind, I think a man would have a neck as thick as mine, if not, you know, a bit bigger. So I'm gonna kind of have to wear it sort of undone, which is okay. So I really wanna be honest with you guys. Obviously this is not for women. This is meant to be a men's base layer, but I thought I'd try it out anyway, because I just really wanted to support Xena. I've seen them grow as a company from like the start basically. So I really wanted to just give back to them. They do do some amazing hoodies, which are unisex. So I'm probably gonna go for one of them, but I really wanted to try one of the base layers. And yeah, this is super, super comfy. I will probably just have the sleeves taken up to more my length, maybe have them taken in a little bit. But otherwise, yeah, length is really good. You're gonna have to ignore the mum tum, the lockdown mummy tummy <laughs> that's going on. This would be nice, like tucked into a pair of riding leggings or something like that. Overall, like fit wise, it wasn't aimed at my shape. So I can't really make a, you know, I can't make a huge, deal out of what's going on but yeah i would say perhaps the neck would be something to look into for men i'm not so sure that this is wide enough for a man's neck but yeah there you go that's the first item the next thing i've got actually this brand appeared in the last try on and um i couldn't help myself i had to buy another pair it is the black fort equestrian leggings Woohoo! <laughs> i got the pink ones this time and here's the back Got their lovely logo at the back, got the lovely sticky bum, and the bit at the bottom that just slurps in so you don't get loads of fabric underneath your boots, which I love. And they also have belt loops, which is great. You can get a nice belt to match. Also has two pockets either side. Um, I don't think I'm actually gonna try these on. I might put them on, I might throw them on, um, just because they're so comfortable. But the reason I bring them up in this video again is because these have now been worn and washed a few times as of my mint green ones that were in the last video. And I just wanted to show you guys how well they've held up because I have worn them a couple of times. I know for a lot of you curvier girls like me, you may be familiar with the ye old chub rub. Not very uh, ladylike, but I'm gonna spread the legs <laughs> so you can see, but there is no fraying or anything on the inside which is amazing and they still look and feel as amazing as the day I bought them so yeah I just wanted to uh, give another shout out to Black Fort for their leggings I did try one of their base layers but unfortunately it didn't fit me um, they do only go up to a size 18 but I have been talking to them and they are hoping to extend their sizing range which is absolutely amazing and I really appreciate that I also do appreciate that that is not an easy task as with the talks with Bex, if you watch that video, you'll know why. Uh, from like a manufacturing side of things, it's, uh, it isn't easy. So yes, I'm very, very grateful that you are trying. That's amazing. And I just love your products and I wanted to give you another shout out. So thank you very much, Blackfoot Equestrian. And yeah, I thought it would be nice to sort of bring in one or two of the products from the last video, just to tell you how I'm getting on with them and how they feel and everything, because 
I feel like it's it's okay to do like an initial reaction, but you want to know how things were and they have worn very, very well. Seeing as I was doing a little shout out for Black Fort, I thought I would just pop these on with this base layer just to show you, I think it just looks so much better tucked in. I've actually become quite partial to a tuck in guys, I'm not gonna lie. I used to think it looked like it wasn't for me at all, but yeah, I'm quite partial now. And these are some of my favorite riding tights now. Just love them. Love the details on the pocket, there you go. Okay, the next thing I have for you guys is a polo shirt. I am a brand ambassador for this amazing company, but it is Digital Horse UK. And I got the Jade Polo shirt, which is just such a glorious color. I just love this so much. I kind of braved it because I was like, everything in my wardrobe is kind of black or whatever. So in fact, you probably noticed that in the last video. And I thought this time, I really want to shake it up a little bit for you guys and just go for it and order some different colors. So I got this in the Jade. It's got the Digital Horse logo on the back. Got it in a 2X and this is a unisex shirt as well. This is from Tyler's Embroidery and you can get these from the shop on Digital Horse. Okay, so the next thing I've got on is my Digital Horse t-shirt, my polo. Absolutely love this. I really love the sleeve length on this. A lot of the times I find with like equestrian polo tops is that they stop like halfway down the arm and if you're plus size like me it usually means that you're like cut off circulation on your arm and it's not very comfortable this is very much the opposite it's got a lovely length on it so the top of your arms are covered which i personally like i don't really like the top of my arms so i like to have them covered up also really loving the length really good length on this um like i say this was a 2x 2xl from tyler's embroidery um, this will look really nice again, tucked in, I think, but I really wanted to show you guys the length because length, I think is a real problem with equestrian clothes. Obviously Tyler's embroidery isn't necessarily like an equestrian brand, but they do do a lot of like stuff for equestrian brands. But yeah, I really love the length. So you can find all sorts on Tyler's embroidery. There's all sorts of brands that work with them that you can get designs for their tees. I'm just going to show you the back. So you can see the logo there. And I just do want to have a little shout out for Digital Horse. For those of you who don't know, Digital Horse is a hate free social media for equestrians. It's great for equestrian businesses too. It's totally free to join from anywhere in the world. And it is just a lovely hate free community. It's definitely helped me confidence wise, especially doing stuff like this. I would never have dreamed that I would be doing something like this and trying on clothes for you guys if it wasn't for Digital Horse. In fact, early last year, I was this close to quitting social media because of hateful comments and stuff. And it was through one of the other uh, Digital Horse ambassadors actually that I found out about Digital Horse. And I went on there and I was, you know, I didn't really expect too much. And I wasn't really that active at first. And I slowly got more and more into it. And now I'm obsessed. I love it. There's training features and competition features where you can input all of your you know, you're training any competition that you do with your horses. You can have a profile for all your horses or just the one horse if you're like me and only have one. Uh, one's enough. Um, <laughs> thinking the same about kids now, to be honest. You've got all that. You've also got a blog feature. So there's plenty of information on there that you can look at. Definitely worth checking out. Like I say, it's completely free. So what's the harm in giving it a shot? Genuinely, it is the loveliest community. You could be on there loving the site too. So yeah, highly recommend that you do check it out. But yeah, just a super comfortable polo to wear down the yard. Um, I'll show it you tucked in, shall I? Yeah, so just to see it tucked in. I really am a bit of a fan of doing this now <laughs> since the last video. I did it for your benefit, but now I actually do it quite often. Um, I know I've got a tummy. It's not the end of the world. You know, we're living through some really rough times. Having a tummy is the least of my worries. Not getting COVID-19 is pretty high up there. <laughs> So yeah, that's that. <laughs> the next thing I have is a brand that I've been following for a long time. And I basically had never ordered from them because I didn't think they get, they went up into my size basically. But I won a competition and I got 20% off their website. So I had a little nosy and I was thinking, oh, you know, none of this stuff is gonna fit me. And then I came across a unisex polo and it is from Yulan, or is it Yulan, Yulan? It must be you, line of question. But there's the there's the logo, and you've also got that at the back. 
and it's got some really nice like button details on the collar it just looks really smart when it's all buttoned up which you will see <laughs> it does feel rather stretchy and it's not like super thin can you see that it's thin enough, but I don't think it's gonna be see-through. This is in a 2XL and it is a unisex t-shirt. I've received it and it does look like it may be a bit small, but we will give it a try anyway and see how it fits. As well as the uh, Yulan shirt, I also bought some new gloves <laughs> because I, like I say, I was perusing the website to see what might fit me and these came up and I thought they just looked so, so nice. They've got the Yulan Equestrian logo there with a nice velcro, oh, that's satisfying, <laughs> bit of ASMR there for you. It's actually got like a snake skin, they look very very posh, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yes, I also got those, so let's throw it on. So I think this is quite a smart looking polo, it's probably one of the smartest polos I own to be honest, and I really wasn't expecting it to fit me, however there are some issues with it, so the first thing is length. This is no good for me because, as you can see, now it's ridden up. Obviously there's spoilers to one of the other items, but I can see myself having to pull this down all the time. But otherwise, I mean, it feels very comfy and I'm really impressed, Yulan. A lot of companies have much shorter sleeves than this, so this I quite like and I absolutely love the button in I think that looks so smart as you can see it is very tight on me as well so it is currently showing every roll that I've got going um, but it is very stretchy so I don't think this is intended for someone my size but it's on and it actually feels really really comfortable it doesn't feel particularly tight I've also got my gloves on I absolutely I'm obsessed with these they feel amazing on they feel so nice and I absolutely love like, I just feel like they look really stylish. The only thing is, I mean, I ordered a large, I think. I think it was the large, but can you see the amount of excess fabric in the fingers? I'm a bit unfortunate in the sense that my hands are quite like wide um, and my wrists are a bit wide, but the length of my fingers aren't that long, but I'm gonna make these work, baby, because I like these a lot. <laughs> So yeah, I think they're, they're really comfortable, they feel really nice. I guess it'll depend on how I feel when I've got the reins in my hand, but yeah, I think they're lovely, <laughs> really, really nice. Her shirt's not a perfect fit, let's face it. It shows off things that it shouldn't show off. But because there's, let me see, me and my matchy matchy, because there's a little bit of red in there, I thought I would try them on with the flexors because I was wondering how it would look tucked into the flexors. I think that looks better personally tucked in the next thing i've got these were actually like i've seen them pop up on my facebook they've got really good advertisements where they've got like a size 4 model and a size 20 to 22 model wearing their flexors and everything in between so you can really see how the flexors sit on other people of different sizes which is just amazing and i think that's such an amazing like marketing campaign and well, it sold me, <laughs> so I did end up buying a pair of flexors. I'm trying to go outside the box a little bit and order some different colours, so I got, I think it's like wine red, but they do also offer um, a white and a biscuit, I think they call it, but yeah, it's like a beige for showing or dressage. So the flexors logo there at the back, and we've got some like seams running down the leg and stuff. I think it's tapered at the bottom. Yeah, it looks like it is, so it looks like it won't bunch up. It has a foam pocket, which we all love. It actually has a button on there, so I'll just show you the pocket detailing because this is very unique. I've never seen anything like that before. It looks very nice. And that's just on one side, I believe. Yeah, so we've got one pocket. I got these in an XL. There's a tag on the inside that says, for riding the gym and casual wear, in order to get the best out of your flexors, they should be tight to pull up. If they aren't tight, they aren't right. Okay, interesting. And then please follow the washing instructions carefully. In the packaging, congratulations, you are now the proud owner of Flexes. And then there's all information here. This is actually really beautifully illustrated. I love this. So it comes, they come with this sheet and yeah, it tells you a little bit about Flexes here. And then it goes down and tells you about the washing instructions. 
so yeah that's really lovely to have actually so that you know how to wash them so that they look their best all the time and they did include an exchange bag as well which hopefully we won't be exchanging <laughs> because they looked really lovely right so we'll move on to the flexes okay i will obviously say that they did say on the sheet that they should be tight to get up but oh dear Jesus, do they take some getting up. It did say if they're not tight, they're not right. And honestly, when they get, like when they're on, they feel absolutely fine. They feel really comfy actually. But God, do I really wanna be sucking myself into them every day? I don't know. Especially like when it's really hot and you're sweaty or even just like being at the yard and you need to go to the loo or whatever and having to, in the heat, get these down and try and get them back up again. I'm not sure, but they do look very, very nice, I must admit. And I think actually the color combo of these two together is really quite nice and yeah, uh, very good length on me as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm feeling a little bit disappointed because like everyone was picking them up, like everyone I spoke to. And these are sized up to, I believe they're sized up to a size 22, which I'm not. I am 18 to 20. In fact, my Blackfoot equestrian leggings are an 18 and they fit me like perfectly. So these, I am very surprised that they are that tight. They say on the packaging that they're meant to be tight. So I don't know. They are so, so, so comfortable now that they're on. And they feel like fluttering enough. I don't feel like they're digging into me anywhere or whatever. I feel like... I think they do shape you quite nice. I mean, is that kind of, is that kind of the gist? Are they supposed to kind of suck the tum in a bit? They do feel super comfy uh, now that they're on, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about the fight to get them on every day, but there you go. That's that outfit. I actually really like this combination to be fair. I think this looks really nice with a nice pair of uh, black boots and my Yulan equestrian gloves. I think I'll be, ready to rock and roll <laughs> hi guys so i felt like it was a bit unfair to base the flexors just by what i saw when i first unpackaged them and stuff so i'm wearing them right now so basically i thought the fairest thing to do would be to try them for a day i put them on this morning and actually I, they went up a bit easier today so today i've actually mucked out and ridden in them and i have to say i can see why people like them um they're actually really really comfortable i didn't really like even though they feel a bit tight when you first kind of get them on they don't feel too bad during the day at all i mucked out fine rode fine didn't think about them at all you know like if something's really tight you're gonna think about it all day but yeah i genuinely didn't um they're very very flattering they're actually really flattering <laughs> look at my jurassic world socks um yeah very very flattering none of like the piping or anything digs in but yeah i wanted to be honest for you guys but i also wanted to give the company a fair shot because literally like i say so many people had recommended flexors so when i tried them on and i wasn't sure i was like surely there must be something about them like no not all these people would be recommending them for no reason and yeah actually they are super super comfortable uh once you're sort of out and about and you're riding they are tight to pull up so that it is meant to suck the tummy in a little bit uh, just to give you a more flattering appearance which is great i've actually really enjoyed wearing them today so um the quality feels amazing these were kind of on the pricier side they are quite pricey i'm not gonna lie um but genuinely the quality feels so worth it like i don't think these are the sort of leggings that would rip or anything like that like we've spoken about the chub rub um i don't think you would get any rips from chub rub they feel really really high quality the seams don't feel like they're digging into me anywhere i love the button detail in there on the pocket also love that you get a free little uh button for in case this one comes off you've got a little spare so yeah i just wanted to come on here and tell you that I had a really good time at the yard in them, a really good ride, and yeah, definitely can see why people were recommending them now. They do not feel uncomfortable at all. Yeah, I think they are designed to sort of give you a shape, if you know what I mean, and that's why they're designed to be a little bit tighter. But yes, they do in fact get a huge thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll be ready to rock and roll. Oh, 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 hang on, whoa. 
I think there was a little uh, sneak peek just popped in there for a little review that I did for uh, the lovely DVR Equestrian. Cheeky! <laughs> and the last thing I've got, and I'm very excited to tell you about this because I haven't mentioned this on YouTube yet, but I am a brand ambassador slash super cob superstar for super cob apparel. Ah! And we got some very exciting stuff in the purse today, so this is one of them my super cob apparel shirt so my lovely friend Lucy invited me to be on the super cob team because I of course own a super cob <laughs> and I've joined the team with some really lovely girls as well Tilly and Isla I believe that's how you say your name I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong but I will include their uh, Instagram handles below and yeah it's just been amazing to be a part of this team and watch like everything unfold and stuff this is gonna be a very unique and exciting company because they are an ethically sourced company that will be creating unique designs based on your horse basically so yeah just really really excited to be on the team and as part of this package i have to show you because they're too beautiful not to include even though it's not quite clothing but i've also been sent a stunning rosette absolutely gorgeous that says super club super cub club and a superstar 2020 oh, oh. <laughs> and even better it's not just me that gets a frilly oh no peps gets a sash and it does say the cobbler of fire on there ah i cannot wait to put these on her um when i do i'll try and insert like a video or a picture here of her in those because they are so beautiful but yes um there will be like a a regular customer scheme on their on the Supercob website where basically you'll be rewarded for for spending your money <laughs> for your commitment and your uh, dedication to the brand so you know the more you kind of purchase you kind of get you'll get rewards and stuff like that and you'll get rosettes like that beautiful one we've just seen so yes um it'll be amazing i cannot wait until the website launches everything that's going on behind the scenes is incredible like lucy has worked her ass off and it's gonna be amazing basically so really excited to share that with you guys now i'm not really gonna review this shirt because everything's still in the very early stages and like this was sent to me as a gift and just to just to try it's just an excuse to pop this on but yeah how amazing are these rosettes they are so glorious absolutely love them and you guys could be in with a chance of receiving one when you place orders with supercob once they're up and running yeah this isn't really part of the review so i'm not going to go into the fit of anything um this was very kindly gifted to me from lucy over at supercob apparel I'm very, very, very proud to be on the team. I absolutely love the logo design. How cute is this? Amazing, looks awesome. Yeah, and I'm very, very excited to share my design with all of you. So yeah, just wanted to take a minute to shout out Super Cub Apparel and just tell you a little bit about the company. So they are ethically sourced and the idea is to create unique designs based off your Super Cubs. So I have had a design made of Pep's The Cobblet of Fire. It is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna insert a picture now. The artist has done an incredible job of capturing her and the little details are all very specific to me. So yeah, that's really exciting. The shirts and everything, the reason I'm not really reviewing them is because this was sent as me being part of the Superstar Super Cob team. So this isn't necessarily gonna be available for you guys. So that's why I'm not reviewing it because you wouldn't be able to buy it. This is my very own t-shirt just for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanted to show it off basically and tell you about the company and to announce to you guys that I am a proud ambassador for them. Yeah, things have been working way behind the scenes and it is very, very exciting. Cannot wait for launch. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. The website looks great already. Yeah, just. Lots of exciting things going on already. And Super Cup Apparel are also on Digital Horse UK. Another shout out, of course, for Digital Horse. Highly recommend you do join. Okay, guys, so those are all the things that I have uh, to review for you today. But yes, uh, that's how I feel about my new clothes. I wanna be honest, I think companies should open up to the idea of making improvements and just listening to 
the everyday rider like myself just putting little tips and hints out there of things that could be improved we're all gonna fit things differently but i think you guys have really enjoyed someone my size putting myself out there because it's a bit more relatable for some of you i know what it's like when you look at a pair of riding tights or anything really and you see them on a size 8 or 10 model and you're not a size 8 or 10 you know you're more a size 16 which is the uk national average size and you just can't get an idea of how that would look on you and it's a bit of a risk i think this is where the problem comes in for companies not thinking that there's a market for it but judging by my video with the wide boot company and the last try on slash haul video there is a lot of demand for the more curvy riders i think people have kind of given up i know i was very much in that boat until the start of this year and i thought no do you know what i want to make a stand i'm gonna try out some companies try and get some clothes together that might fit you guys well and make you guys feel really good because I know how it feels. I want to feel good too. I want to be able to ride comfortably and be happy in the saddle, you know? And I know there's people who might argue like, oh, well, if you're not that size, you shouldn't be riding. My horse carries me fine. I'm not going to get into that debate. But there's also people who carriage drive or who do in-hand showing who are a bit bigger and they still want to go out and look good and feel good. Do you know what I mean? So I don't think that's a reason for brands to not be a bit more inclusive and a bit more thoughtful with the design of clothes. Um, again, reverting back to my video with Bex, I know I keep going back to it, but we covered like literally so many topics. And for any brands watching, um, I think it's a really useful tool for you to go and watch that and see what kind of issues people are struggling with when they come to buy clothes. But yeah, I think that's the reason a lot of people don't buy and then brands don't think there's a demand for it. But there is, there's just not many brands out there who do the sizing right or that offer the bigger sizes. Um, so yeah, like you've got to consider that someone my size is a bit likely to be a bit more busty, have a bit of a tummy. And with those things, shirts are going to rise up and stuff. So you need a bit more length, etc, etc. There's so many things that I could go into. It is something I'm very passionate about and I'm hoping that I can inspire more people to come forward and spread awareness of the issues that people are having and maybe in the long term make some changes in the equestrian community. But I also want to shout out brands that are being more inclusive and thoughtful with sizing and yeah just really big them up and help you guys to find some clothes that make you feel great so yes i hope you've enjoyed the second of my try on videos if you have enjoyed the video please do like and leave a comment i would love to read your comments if you're new here hello hi i'm ray and um i vlog about myself my daughter hazel and my super cob pepper and we just we're here to have fun basically leave the hateful comments out of here because we don't tolerate that here this is a safe environment i want people to come here feel safe about talking and opening up and i think we're due a change you know the fashion industry is way ahead on this game in incorporating more plus size models different ethnicities and sexualities and all that kind of thing and i just think the equestrian community is lagging behind and we need to make a change and just be a bit more inclusive. I'm very happy with my new clothes. I have quite a lot of new clothes now. <laughs> I've started the, uh, the year off with like basically nothing and now I've got so many cool things. And as you saw in the video, I did give a little hint to a review that I'm doing with DVR Equestrian and I'm so excited to share that with you guys. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I don't know when the next one will be because I have had a splurge <laughs> this year. Um, I've also bought a lot of tack this month. I've bought a new saddle and a few other bits. So I was thinking of doing a separate tack haul for those kind of things because I thought this video would become a bit lengthy if I if I included that as well. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you're new here, do uh, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future uploads. That's it from me, guys. Until the next one. Bye bye.